Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Earlier today, SpaceX successfully launched the Starlink 210 mission on a Falcon 9 rocket. One, ignition, engine full power, and lift off of Starlink 2-10. Go Falcon, go Starlink. The booster which launched this mission, B-1061, then landed successfully for the 14th time on the drone ship, of course I still love you. Stage 1 landing burn. There's the confirmation that Stage 1 landing burn has started in preparation for a touchdown on our drone ship, of course I still love you. We should hear the call out for a second engine cutoff in just a few seconds. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. SpaceX posted a tweet related to the return of the Axiom 2 crew. It says after 10 days in orbit, Dragon and the AX2 crew returned to Earth. SpaceX posted a tweet related to the astronauts they've flown to space with the three year anniversary of Demo 1. They said three years ago this week, we launched our first human spaceflight mission to orbit. Thank you to NASA, Inspiration4, Axiom Space and the 38 astronauts from all around the world for flying SpaceX. We can hopefully expect another Dragon mission to launch in just a few days. The CRS-28 mission is currently scheduled for Saturday, June 3rd at 4.34pm UTC or 12.34pm EDT. In addition to that, we can hopefully expect another Starlink launch the following day. The Starlink 64 mission is currently scheduled for Sunday, June 4th at 9.48am UTC or 5.48am EDT. Then we could potentially see yet another Starlink launch a day later. The Starlink 511 mission is currently scheduled for Monday, June 5th at 6.15am UTC or 2.15am EDT. Heading to Boca Chica, work continues on the Orbital Launch Mount Foundations. Over in the production yard, the old windbreak building has been demolished. Here you can see a fabrication building in the production yard also being deconstructed. Here's a look at the new high bay that's being constructed. Recently Booster 10 was seen moved out of the mega bay and over to the rocket garden. As always I have to say thanks to Nick Antsweeney for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.